today we're going to make an all-time favorite summer treat, fudge sickles. And we're going to make it healthy so you don't have to feel guilty for serving it to your children. Are you ready? I'm Annette Reeder, the Biblical Nutritionist, and I'm on mission to help you moms or missionaries or pastor's wives, everyone, to be able to, to serve your family healthy food and feel good about it. All right, so today it's fudge sickles. Now, usually that used to be, when I was growing up, it was a summertime treat. In today's society, people eat ice cream all year round. So you might be able to use this recipe any time of the year. So let's learn how to make them. Okay, so I'm going to start with actually some milk and you can use any milk of choice. Today I'm actually using some coconut milk. I just usually use either coconut or one of the nut milks for my favorite choice. I'm gonna add just a little bit, just, just a teaspoon of some honey. Now this is totally a recipe that you could use an alternative sweetener such as stevia, monk fruit, any one of those. I'm gonna add just a little bit of vanilla. Vanilla has a way of creating a richer text, not texture, a richer flavor, and it just kind of combines flavors really well. Now, here's the key ingredient. Cocoa powder, dark, rich, organic cocoa powder, and protein, chocolate protein powder. Two scoops of that. Now you could do it without the cocoa powder. I have done that. And just use the chocolate protein and that's very healthy. And to this we're gonna add a banana, as you can see. But when you add in the dark organic cocoa powder, it becomes not just a frozen smoothie, it becomes truly the fudge sickle that we grew up with. <laughs> yeah, I'm not kidding. So that is the key ingredient. Looks like I got a little bit on there. So today I'm gonna to be using just my food processor that is part of a, some people call it a stick blender, and then other people refer to it as an immersion blender. So today it's attached to that, so I'm just going to turn that on and let's mix it up. See just a few little banana specks in there, but that's okay. So I'm going to take my motor off and then I'm going to twist this off. Oh, that looks so incredibly rich. Let me get this out of the way. Get that out of the way. And I picked these little popsicle makers up at Bed Bath and Beyond. They even have a straw. I don't anticipate using that, but who knows, you know? So let's see how many we're going to make. This is really designed to make usually about two popsicles, so you would want to increase the recipe if you, if you wanted to make more for your family, have more on hand. And I'm going to show you another way that we save our, make our popsicles too. So let's pour this in here. Oops, we do have a little bit of chunkiness. Normally I use my, my Vitamix blender and that way it becomes very smooth, but for this video, I thought it'd be easier just to do this in front of you. Ah, we're going to get more than two, so that's always good. When I was making these earlier, I don't always have kids around, so my husband becomes my um, sample artist, and he loved them. So he actually loves chocolate as well, so that wasn't hard to please him. So let me just set that down right over there and we will just pop our lids back on and we will let these freeze and this will be an amazing delight. Now, like I said, it's all about protein. It's about fiber. It's about making the foods very nutrient dense. The more nutrient dense they are, the more we're gonna feel satisfied with what we've eaten. And that's what scripture is all about, is how learning how to be satisfied, not only in who Jesus is, what he's done in our life, but when we recognize that his foods truly satisfy, then as a mother, we can feel good about feeding our children. And the better quality protein that they have in their diet, 
the healthier they're going to be. And satisfied means they're not going to be always craving something, always wanting another snack, and especially a sugary snack, which we don't want them to have. So the protein that I've used today is the Shackley Life Shake Protein. I'll give you a link to that down below. If you use a different brand, just use the Shackley Life Shake Protein as your barometer. It is the very best quality protein you can get, not only in the purity of the ingredients, but also in the science behind it. So you can look at that link for just for some good understanding of protein powders. Now, so I'm gonna pop these in the freezer. Another way of making these is in these squeeze pops. And I'll give you a link to these down below. I, we usually sell them at our conferences and they go fast. So you can just squeeze pop these up and there's our frozen fudge sickle that we made earlier. And this is gonna go fast. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanna thank you for joining me. And you know, we have a mission and you're part of my mission. So I'd like to ask you to help me spread the word. Share this video with your friends, your coworkers, your women's Bible study group. Remind everyone around you that God loves them and he has a purpose for their life. And the foods that he's given us when we eat them as close, eat the foods as close to the way he designed it, we will benefit the health benefits, okay? It will be a blessing to our health. So go ahead and hit the like button down below. Give me a thumbs up and hit the share button. Every time you share, then other people get to hear how much God loves them. And they may also find a recipe that they just can't live without. And then their body is going to recognize God's goodness. Thanks for watching me. I'm the Biblical Nutritionist. Catch us on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, you know, all of those sites. We would love to meet you there. Thank you for watching.